our seventh step in our process is selecting the hearing aid model and style. And this is something that basically you're doing the same way you would if the person didn't have tinnitus until we talk about the Zen tones. And that basically is that the style, CIC, BTE, ITE, the style and the model of the hearing aid should be based primarily on what the hearing loss requirements call for. But then we also want to have the broadest frequency response available so that we can stimulate the broadest region of the brain that needs compensation. I want to remind you, of course, that with this and uh, that with the Zen style, and, and one of the I know the things that have helped my practice is now the Zen option is available in the full range of the Wide X um, hearing aids, such as the 440, the 330, and the 220, which makes it more affordable for some individuals. Which bec and and that's important. Well, we have to respect our clients' wishes and desires in terms of the cosmetics, the comfort, and the cost of the hearing aids for them. You know, we don't want to add additional stress to our client who is already dealing with a stressful situation. So we want to make sure that we're covering our basis on all of these um, different areas. I should also point out before we go too much further that there are professionals including myself, that will use binaural Zen even if the tinnitus is perceived in a unilateral manner. So even if the tinnitus is perceived in one ear, I will often, as long as the person has at least some degree of hearing loss in each ear, I will go with two hearing aids and two Zen, uh, zen in, e in each ear. And the major reason for this is because even with a unilateral tinnitus perception, there's a diffuse or a broad area of the brain that is, st that is stimulated by the tinnitus, and often that area is not limited to one hemisphere versus the other. So I'm trying to cover all my bases by going to two uh, devices with Zen.